Hi, this is Abdullah Galal, and today I'm going to demonstrate the process of standard costing of purchased items on SAP S4HANA 1809. So the process is going to start by how we create a standard cost estimate for a purchased item. Then I'm going to create a purchase order and a goods receipt so we can see the difference between our actual cost and the standard cost and how this will be treated financially. And also I'm going to add a shipping cost to the purchase order so we can see how shipping costs can be added to our inventory value and how this will impact our financial interest also. Then I'm going to run the actual costing material ledger process at the end of the month. Now, I have already explained the process in previous videos, and I always recommend that you fully understand the process before checking the system. Now, I'm going to start by displaying the material master data of the material we are going to use today. So, let's go back to our example. We are a company that is going to buy and sell shares, and we only have one product. And from our experience and from the market studies, we know that the cost of this item should be 7 USD per chair. So this is our standard cost. Now I'm going to display the material master data of this item. So to display, go to transaction MM03, enter. And this is the material code I'm going to use today, enter. And I'm going to display the accounting and costing views, enter again. And the plant is 11110, enter. So this is the accounting one view. And there are some important fields that I'm going to explain first. So first of all, we have the price control. So this one is S. And this indicates that we are using the standard costing with this item, not the moving average. So S is for standard costing. And then we have the material ledger active indicator checked. And this is the standard in S4HANA, so it has to be checked anyway. And then we have this field, price determination. So this field can either have a value of 2 or 3. Now 3 indicates that we are going to use the actual costing process of the material ledger. If you have it as 2, then you are not going to use the actual costing. So my item has the indicator 3, so this way we can use the actual costing process. And then if you go to accounting, costing one view here, you have the profit center. This one is very important also. And then in costing 2, we have our standard cost estimates. So as you see, this item has no cost estimates in the future or in previous or currently. This is a new item that I just created. And also it has no planned prices. And again, it has the price control S. Now, as I said, from our experience, we know that the cost of this item should be around seven USD per share. So the first step in our standard costing process is that we tell SAP that this is our expectation because this is a purchased item. So the value of this item comes from our agreement with other vendors or from our study of the market. It has no other uh, way to, uh, so SAP has no other way to understand the value of this item. We have to give the value to the system. So there are many ways to do this. The way I'm going to demonstrate today is using the planned price one field. So here we have a planned price one and then we have the planned price one date. So here I can tell SAP that my expected standard cost for the period is going to be 7 USD and the print price date is the date from which this value will be valid. So I'm going to go back slash n and go into the change mode so we can change this field. So MM02 and then go again to the same material again and the plant is 11110 and let's go back to costing 2. So now I can change the field. So the plant price one is going to be 7 USD. And this is starting from, let's say, 1st of May. So 0105-2019. So here I'm telling SAP that my expectation is 7 USD starting from 1st of May 2019. So this is step number one. Do you want to save your data? Yes. So now we have told SAP our expectation. Step number two is... We have to run the standard cost estimate transaction and this transaction SAP will go and pick the value in this field and save it as a standard cost estimate. Now a standard costing is a planning process. It is something that we do before the beginning of a new year or a new period. So we can plan what is our standard costing and what is our planned profits will be in the next period. So it is a planning process which means we can have multiple plans. 
So in SAP, you can save up to 99 cost estimates for the same item. And then you can only release one, which means only one will be effective, but you can have 99 and then you can compare between them all you want and you can see what if scenarios and you can do multiple planning scenarios, but eventually you have to release only one of them. So now I'm going to go to the transaction for the standard cost estimate where we tell SAP to pick this price and save it as a cost estimate for the item. So I'm going to go to transaction CK11N. <coughs> this transaction you can also find here if you open a new window. You can find it under accounting, controlling, and then product cost controlling, product cost planning, Material costing, cost estimate with quantity structure, and then we have CK11N. So let's go back to the transaction here. So first of all, we have to put the plant. So this is our plant code, 1110, and the material code is 191 again. Then we have the costing variant. The costing variant is the most important object in the configuration of standard costing. It includes all the details SAP needs to know, so it can determine the standard costing for any item and this is where I tell SAP that I am using the planned price one field as the source for my cost estimate so for now the costing variant I am using is the standard one by SAP which is PPC1 this one and then we have the costing version so as I said we can have up to 99 costing versions for the same item and the same costing variant but eventually you have to release only one of them so the costing version I'm going, I'm going to leave as one. I can make it one, two, three, anything. So I'm going to make to keep it as one and then go to the dates tab, enter. Okay. So costing date from, again, the standard costing is a planning process. So it has to be something in the future. Otherwise you cannot continue with the process. So it can, we can choose today's date or any date in the future. So for me, I'm going to choose the date of Z of 12.05.2018, 12 of May, and then I'm going to hit enter. One other important field is this one. So it has quantity structure date. So this one has to be any date after the planned price one date. Remember in the material master data, we said that our planned price is going to be seven starting first of May. So quantity structure date is the date SAP will go and check in the master data. So if this date is after the planned price date one, then it will accept the price. If this date is before, then it means that the planned price one we have is not valid yet. So this, this is why I'm going to leave it as 1st of June, which is after 1st of May, the starting of our validity for the planned price. And then I'm going to hit enter again, enter. And now you see this is the standard costing screen and here SAP is telling that we have one item that will be for 7 USD per one piece. And this is our material code and this is the plant. This screen will have a huge importance when we run the costing for manufactured items because it will explain how the manufacturing, manufacturing cost is calculated. But for purchased items it doesn't have a lot of details. So all we have is we have the item for 7 USD per one piece and this is it. So I'm going to save the standard cost, click here. And now we have a saved standard cost estimate. Until now, this is only for information. I can create up to 99. I can compare between them and do many what if scenarios to see what will be the result if we choose any of the standard cost estimates we have. But then after this, we are going to choose one of them to make it the realistic standard cost estimate for the next period. So to do this, I'm going to go to the other screen for the price update. So let's go back to our SAP menu here. Now you can find this transaction under material costing, CK24 price update. So let's go back, let's go again and review the process. So number one, we put a standard uh, cost in the planned price one field in the material master data in costing to tab. Number two, we went to CK11N and we saved our standard cost estimate. So now number three is doing some analysis, some what if scenarios and see what which standard cost estimate we are going to release. Then step number four, this one, 
is to mark and release our standard cost estimate. So here I'm going to choose the period that for which the standard cost estimate will be valid. So this one is going to be 5 2019. Then our plant is 1110, our company code, sorry. And then our plant is also 1110. And the material is 191. Now you can run a test run first. So this way you can see the result without actually updating the system. So I'm going to keep this one. And then I'm going to click on execute. So here you have an error that marking not authorized for period 05 2019. So again, standard costing is a planning process. After we do our planning, then we are going to choose one cost estimate and we are going to release it to be effective. Now this process requires authorization and this is very important. So for example, the accounting manager is the only one who will say which uh, standard cost version is going to be released. And this is the authorization we are missing. So if I go back here, you have to go to marking allowance. And of course, only the one authorized to do this will have access to this button. So click here. And then for 1110, our, our company could click here. And the costing version, the costing variant is BPC1. And the costing version is only one, as you see. So there's only one costing version that will be released. And the accounting manager is the one who chooses which one will be eventually used. So I'm going to save and then back. Now I'm going to execute the test run here. So now, as you see, summary test run, we have one material, one cost estimate were updated successfully. And this is only a test run. So until now, there is no real update to the system. It is only a test run. Now I'm going to go back and remove this checkbox. So now it is an update run. But before I do this, uh, let's go back to the material master so we can see the impact of this transaction on our material master data. So I'm going to go to slash OMM03 to display the material master data, enter. Then this is our material code, okay, and the plant is 1110, okay. Go to costing two tab. Now, as you see, we have future cost estimate zero, we have current zero, and we have previous zero. This is because we have not yet marked or released any standard cost estimate. Now I'm going to go back to the price update transaction here and I have removed the test run indicator and now click on execute. So as you see, we have one material, one cost estimate were updated successfully and this is a realistic update. It's not a test run. So if I go back to the material master data now here and I'm going to refresh. Go to costing two tab. Now, as you see, we have a future cost estimate for the period of May 2019 for 7 USD per chair. So this is the impact of marking a cost estimate. You can see it in the material master data. Now, there is also a very important screen. If we go to accounting one here, the material price analysis is very important. I just want to show you that this is a new item. So it has no transactions at all. It has zero uh, zero starting value, zero transaction, and zero ending inventory. Now I'm going to go back. Let's go back to the price update transaction and back, back again. So again, until now, we updated the plant price one field. Then we did CK11N. We saved the standard cost estimate. Then we should compare different cost estimates and decide which one we need. Then here, we have, re we have marked the cost estimate to be the one that we are going to use in the future and we can see it in the material master data under the future cost estimate and this is called marking a standard cost estimate so marking means that i'm telling sap that this is the standard cost that i have authorized and approved to be used in the future period once the future period starts the last step is to do a release for the cost estimate and the release means that it will be effective immediately and this can be only done when the future period starts. So for example, if I'm doing a standard cost, which is a plan, I'm, going, I'm doing the planned standard cost for May. So I am not going to be able to release the cost until we come to 1st of May. So 1st of May, midnight, in the first hour, or in the first minute of the month, I can release the cost estimate. So now I'm going to move to release, and this can be only done on the day that the standard cost estimates starts in again. 
So if you do this testing on your own and then you are not able to release, then you have to check that you are inside the period of the standard cost estimate first. Now I'm going to release. So I have clicked on this here. If you go here, this is release. If you click again, it takes you back to marking. So this is considered as a different transaction. It is the same transaction code. And then the period is the same. Company code, plant, everything is the same. And I'm going to click on test run. Execute. So as you see, test run successful. We have no issues. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to remove the test run indicator and execute again. So now, as you see, we have one material, one cost estimate were updated successfully, and we have a price change document. What is this? This is a document of the old price and the new price, so we can always keep track of the updates of our standard cost estimate, and you can display this document anytime. One more thing is, if we have any stock of this item currently, once we release the cost estimate, SAP is going to reevaluate our stock to the new standard cost. So for example, if I have 100 units for five USD each, so the total is 500 USD, and I have released a cost estimate for seven USD per share, then it should be 700 USD. So SAP is going to post a revaluation of 200 <coughs> once we uh, release the cost estimate. Now let's go back to the material master data and see the impact of this on the accounting and the costing views. So I'm going to hit enter again, enter, 1110 here and go to costing tab now as you see we have a current standard cost estimate of 7 USD per share for the period of May 2019 now in case we have an old cost estimate it will move to the previous cost estimate field and this is it for how to create a standard cost estimate for a purchased item so again the steps are first add the planned price one field in the material master data then we go to transaction of the standard cost estimate, CK11N, and we save one or multiple cost estimates. Three, we compare between the cost estimates and we decide which one we are going to use. Four, we mark this standard cost estimate for the future use, and we can only mark one version of the standard cost estimate. Five, we release the cost estimate at the beginning of the period that we created the cost estimate for. And these are the steps to create the standard cost estimate for a purchased item. Now I'm going to move to the next step. So now I'm going to create a purchase order and then do a goods receipt and then run the material ledger actual costing. I'm going to keep the other part in a separate video that I'm going to release also today, but I'm going to keep it separate because this one is going to be very long this way. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the second part.